all get ready now. Up and Adam! Adam! It's a bomb. Long tails and ears for hats Guitars and shops and flats 
We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him, take him, try him? We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. Don't you want a gorilla you could call your own? A little gorilla be with you when you're all alone. We got a gorilla for sale, McGilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, we kill a gorilla for sale. Don't you call him a monkey, he don't got no tail. And if he did, then McGilla the monkey would be for sale. With shoes on his feet, suspenders, and a hat on his head. There's not much about a dear little gorilla that hasn't been said. 
We got a gorilla for sale, we got a gorilla for sale, a sale. We got a gorilla for sale, we got a gorilla for sale, a sale. We got a gorilla for sale, we got a gorilla for sale, a sale. Except for Mr. Peebles, he don't like primates. Magilla Gorilla just isn't a mammal with whom he relates. He'll sell you a cat or a dog or a bird or a tiny goldfish. But down deep beside Mr. Peebles, he's got himself only one wish, saying, We got a gorilla for sale. 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 There's a girl called OG and she wants to buy a little gorilla from Peebles. He ain't asking why. Just get that thing on my window, you can hear him cry. But she's got no money. Mr. Peebles almost died, saying, We got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him? I take a gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. Won't you got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. Won't you got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. We got a gorilla for sale, I'm a gorilla for sale.
Birkenstock from being kidnapped. Extra, extra agitators return alligator to the wild. Well, here's your new home, Wally. Whoa! Beautiful, isn't it? I'm thinking cables out of the question. Look, family. <laughs> Welcome, Carl. <laughs> Hungry after your trip? Uh, thanks. I I only eat things that have evolved. You'll be so much happier here, Wally. Now that you're out of that zoo, where you were just sitting there bored. Waiting for your next meal to be tossed at you. Nothing to do. None of the muck and bugs of a real swamp. Well, we've got to get back to boring old civilization now. Okay, goodbye then. <gasps> Bye. Good seeing you. Goodbye then. <laughs> ah, captivity. I wonder if our nature lovers are loving nature. Spring in Jellystone Park. <clears throat> Winter in Jellystone Park. The bears are cozying up, confident that nothing will disturb them from the long slumber of their winter hibernation. <laughs> well, Boo Boo Buddy, nothing left to do but hit the sackaroo. Hit the lights. <laughs> Mr. Mudrake is going to be real mad if we don't get some gratuitous type footage for his new When Bears Attacks show. Don't worry, baby. I'll get those bears to attack. I'm a director. Don't worry about it. Action! Let's go. Time is money. Action! Take ten. Forty-five. <laughs> All right, baby. Come on, Googie. Work with me, Boo Boo. I got it. Next day. Come on, uh, let's go. Cut. All right. We now return to when bears attack. Amazingly, our cameraman got away from this terrifying beast, only to stumble on his much angrier friend. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo, he's a scary looking creature. He said it, Yogi. Well, I nabbed them all. Ain't that <laughs> right, Bubba Louie? I helped two Quick Draw. Oh, Whose hand is that? Let me out of here. Message for Quick Draw McGraw. Why, thank you, random messenger. What's it say, Quick Draw? It's from the unnamed mayor of New York City. <clears throat> you are the best lawman in the West. Stop. Crime is out of control in the East. Stop. Please help us. Stop. We are scared. Stop. How'd you know that's what it says? No, we drop. We're here. Well, I'll be... Hey! Someone is stealing a car just off screen. My car! El Cabong! 
Black is very trendy. Look! Some other criminal activity. Hey, oh, kabong! Don't frisk me! Oh. My purse! You! Hey, can I borrow that song? What are you doing? It's been quite amazing. Oh, well, I guess that does it for city crime, Bubba Boy. Oh. That's just like Quick Draw. He thinks he can wipe out crime, but crime has really wiped. Him out! <laughs> pa! We got a letter from that TV show. He's gonna let us come on there and work out our differences. Oh, well, I'll tell you, we got one on know-how. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll talk with Mrs. Rugg, who says that after all these years, she <laughs> just can't understand her husband. <laughs> now, let's keep in mind, viewers, if she could afford good psychotherapy, she wouldn't be here. Let's give her some pity, huh? <laughs> Mother Rugg, uh -huh. you and Paul have lived together for years. You've raised two beautiful children together. What would you like to say to your husband? Well, Pa, I, I know you're a good man and all. It, it's just sometimes hush. You're not so good at communicating, and sometimes I need to know how you feel. Come on, Ma. I hear what Paul's saying. He's saying that Shady he didn't do... You're always standing up for Paul. Now, y'all, stop your feuding. That ain't right around city folk. Sorry, Sorry Ma. Ah, uh, communication breakdown. Classic problem. Anyone with some words of wisdom for Mrs. Rugg? Me, 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 me. Anyone with a successful marriage? Uh-huh. I just want to tell you, Paul, you're a good-looking man. <laughs> you can find someone who understands you. You can find someone who understands you. He's a good cook, good mama, and maybe I'm not like me. I have a question. Huh? Well, I'll tell you. Oh. Oh. Well, then, I guess that's all that really matters. Oh.
Don Clementine. Oh. to today have ritualistically stalked my clients. Yeah, it's like, um... It's like every day, ritualistically. Sure. Guilty! Mr. Jinx, you are hereby put under a restraining order. Whosoever wears this is not to come within three feet of Pixie and or Dixie. Oh, oh well, uh, that, like, shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> So, like, I can't come too close to you, Mises, right? Is this too close? Uh, yep. This, like, doesn't feel right. Is he all right? I'll check. What do you say this Saturday you and me go? I don't like cheap days. I'm seeing things. I need a vacation. I wish I could afford a vacation. What? He forgot his latte.
this is everything When the gas runs out, just wreck it and you insure the thing